the Nord Electro 6D uh, with a semi-weighted waterfall key action it's available in 61 keys it's also available in 73 keys and what I had on there is you can have three points on at the same time and you have uh, half a dozen split points that you can you know put them between or on at the same time it's up to you how you lay them um, it's absolutely brilliant. You've got an organ section here which gives you uh, the organ sounds and you've got draw bars. You've got a B3 organ, a Farfisa organ, a Vox organ, a couple of pipe organs and also a B3 bass pedal sounds as well. You've got a piano section here in the middle where you've got loads of pianos to choose from and you have a sample synth section here which basically gives you all your other sounds. You've got effects units, uh, you've got uh, digital effects like um, Phaser, reverb, warp, digital delay, that kind of thing. Uh, an EQ unit with a bass and treble and a couple of mid sweeps, and a nice reverb unit. Now it's designed for the home enthusiast or, or live player. It's really light. It's only 8.1 kilograms in weight, so it's dead easy just to just to move around. It comes with a manual. It comes with its music rest, and then you can buy additional peripheral things like uh, sustain pedals or a pedal to turn the faster slow Leslie on uh, for the rotary speaker and things like that. So I'll just show you how easy it is to work. There's basically three set buttons here, and they're highlighted in grey, and it's basically the on off buttons for each section. If I turn them off, there's nothing on. You could use this as a controller keyboard for other things as well. So if I press the piano section on, let's start with that. It's got a beautiful Royal Grand. A resistance on the key so you can get the dynamics in between the keys are fully filled in so you, you, you know that you're not going to flip the keys off by accident and things like that i think that's a brilliant idea and um, if i flick through some of the other piano sounds you can get things like a, a, an amber upright <laughs> Saloon, and you get digital pianos like this. to the sample sense and you can put sounds on there like strings. And it's got some very simple controls so you can alter things like the attack so I can make that fast string. If I put the attack button up to say, well the knob should have said round to eight maybe, it makes it a slow attack. I can alter the release time so that when I'm on 
be a sustain pedal, it'll hold it on, like that. Or I can alter the release by just turning that knob so that when I press the keys and then let go, it'll gradually sustain and fade away. Beautiful swell effects with some beautiful sustain to take it out. I think it's just so simple to operate, it's absolutely fabulous. Let's go to the organ section. You've got proper draw bars here. And you can connect it with on the foot switch to the fast and slow track. Or you can control it from a button there. And you can have it to go to stop, or you can have it on fast and slow, it's up to you. You can get the exact sounds. There's just some very light like that. B3, you get others like a Vox on there, which is a completely different sounds exactly how you want them. You've got four feet of box, you've got pipe organs as well, so I'll just turn the... Uh, turn the different one. And you can adjust all the flukes exactly how you want them. So if we just go away from that for the moment, I could layer two sounds together. So for example, I've set my strings up there. The volume down, very simply, put my piano on here. section here you can decide which um, effects affect in what section so for example I could put um, let's say a tremolo on my piano section and then I'll just turn the effect like this and get it exactly how you want it I could put it to something completely different, like a wah wah maybe. So, just to remind you what the piano sounds actually like, add that effect to it, very simply just press the button, I can have it set up ready to go. Really like crazy ideas going on, which is fantastic. You've also got uh, Ross, um, a speaker effect where you can add like a, maybe a distortion to your organ sound. So let's go to our B3. Just turn our piano off, so we've just got the organ on there. You can even have the percussive sounds. I can go onto here and I can pick an amp. So you can really sound like you're really driving.
in that speaker to a it full degree so it's distorting. So some people like that, some people don't, so you can have it, you can take it off and have it completely clean. Or to really distort. And everything in between. That's absolutely fantastic. If I go to my piano and just show you again, it's our piano sound. We could add a digital delay to that. Oh, actually, if I turn it up, it might help. And you can set it to completely different levels, to loads of delay like that, to just a, a sudden slap. It's it's up to you. You can get exactly how you want it. So at the minute I've got it set to a small hole. If I turn that off, this is the piano on its own. Turn the reverb back on. And you can set that to be exactly however you want it. Uh, as you heard at the beginning there, what I'd, uh, what I'd set up was a bass sound down at the bottom. And then I'd have an electric piano with an organ. things in and out. I think this is absolutely superb. And as Nord updates sounds and bring new ones out, you can download them as well for free and put them into this machine. It's got extra memory space allocated to put some more in, but if you run out, what you do is you just take one of the ones off that you maybe don't like and put one in that you do. <laughs> so this keyboard is absolutely superb. So this is the Nord Electro 6D with the semi-weighted waterfall. Uh, keyboard. It's 61 notes on this one, but you can also get a 73. They're all on our Rimmers Music website right now, and we can deliver it to any UK mainland location within the price. You know, one of them couriers, so all that's good. And uh, if I think you should get one, if you're into maybe wanting some organ sounds, or you're gigging, or maybe you want to use it as a controller for other things, or make film music, or whatever it, whatever your need is, this can do it, and it's absolutely fantastic. So hopefully you like my video, if you have can you press like and share and, uh, and hopefully you'll get one. Uh, if you're looking anywhere other than our website there's a link down there that will just take you straight to it and, um, and thanks again for watching, I'll see you soon, bye.